Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we were given an egg, and in this episode, we will take the egg into the locker room. And we're just gonna have it watch a bunch of fights, even though it's still just a baby egg. I guess you could say we're trying to make it hard-boiled, or something, that was kind of lame, I'm sorry. Observe the match. Well boy, howdy Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, and let me just see here, your next opponent will be... Rank 14 in the Glitz Pit, the Handed Overs. Now listen to your son in this battle, I want to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. I want to see a pure test of power without none of that flouncing around, you get me? Now get out there and hand a whooping to him too. So we gotta do it without jumping. I think that just applies to Mario. I don't think uh, Koops or Flurry, or Kumbel and Flurry will apply to that. Hopefully I'm right in that regard, otherwise we will have to repeat a match. Well, I guess we'll find out. The egg is just going to sit here because, of course, an egg can battle, as Pokemon has taught us over the years. And hey, it's Bandy Andy in the Christmas Club. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Grim Death Burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Handed Overs. Mario, darling. Are you quite ready? <laughs> We're awfully quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready to battle! The Handed Overs! Oh wait, it's a new enemy, so I should switch to Goombella, I just realized that. We're gonna go ahead and tattle on them. I believe the red and- oh wait, no, they are different enemies, I thought they were just a cosmetic thing. This is the Bandit and the Big Bandit, so we'll go ahead and examine the regular Bandit first. That's a Bandit. This scumbag tries to bump you and grab coins. Jerk. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you do time your guard well, uh, when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, he looks like a ba on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. If a bandit steals your coins from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. And you stole a coin! Oh no, a single coin! It's going to super repel- Now, it's actually a kind of a good tactic- Oh god. It's kind of a good tactic to allow them to steal things and just run away, because they could just lose the battle by uh, stealing stuff and then running away and counts as your win, which is kind of funny, but you don't get any experience uh, if you do it like that. So, uh, do whatever you want, I suppose. Uh, I've gone way too long without using my uh, power bounds on Mario's side, so let's go ahead and do it right now on the Big Bandit. That's more I like it, and it didn't even KO him, wow, okay. Let's see how much HP these guys have. We'll see what makes him so big, that's what she said. That's a Big Bandit, basically a boss among ordinary bandits. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. Oh, I just remembered that Grubba told us not to jump. That's awkward. So, it looks like we're gonna have to do this fight over again because I didn't follow the rules. I completely zoned out on that. And they keep on stealing coins from us. The horror of it all. Uh, you stole honey syrup. Oh, I can't have any of that. Give me that back, you fool. And he's all like, ugh, I didn't steal anything. Well, if I've already failed, then I might as well just keep on multi-bouncing, I guess. Jump, jump, and jump. Uh, do we get our stuff back? No, we have to KO him to get the items back? Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and jump on you, just so KO you, get the star points. Even though I'm okay with you running away, so we don't have to fight you, I do want to get the experience. And we're down to 1 HP, which is a bit awkward. But we should be able to wrap it up right here now, unless you had a point of defense that I wasn't paying attention to, which you don't. Okay, that would have been really bad if that landed on Mario. Oh god, talk about risky business. So, the one good thing about this chapter is that if you do die to any enemies in here, it doesn't count as the game over. You just get sent back to your locker room and you uh, stay at the rank that you were at. So, you don't have to worry about losing story progress, which is nice. You just get sent back to the locker room with no progress of the rankings. And, I like their faces, they look all sad. Look like Charlie Brown characters, kinda. What did you expect, huh? We rock! And because we didn't follow the fight conditions, we now have to... We get... Just six coins. We probably would have gotten more if we followed her rules. Excuse me, I must be going. Hey, you hear the latest G-Dog? My boys said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K would, could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check her out for me, man. <laughs> okay, then. I guess that's what we gotta do next. We gotta check out the babe at the juice shop. Because King K wants us to. If anyone else asked me to do that, I would have said no, but because it's him, I'll go ahead and do it. I wonder if there's anyone else out here while we're uh, walking about. Uh, we got the camera dudes. I wonder if they uh, want to see us by any chance. 
Oh, the great Gonzalez, you're a minor leaguer and your nickname is Great, huh? Move aside, you wanna be. My camera settings can't process minor leaguers. Jeez, such jerks. Well, hello there, you great beefy bull of a man, you. You're a wonderful dear. But I'm afraid that the only man for me is the champion, that hirsute rockhawk. By which I mean the minimum requirement to date me is a champ spell to you, poor thing. Ugh, so, so pretentious. We'll just go ahead and ignore her for now. We're gonna check out the babe at the juice shop, whoever that is. Head on out here, and we actually never went in here before, so I guess it's all good that we come out here and check this place out. And hey, look who it is! It's this guy again. Bonjour, Monsieur Moustache. I wonder what the flower that beautiful Mademoiselle likes. She is like a ravishing but thorny red rose. Oh, oi, she is thorny. Okay, is this the girl that he was talking about? Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion, the fighter long since lost. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Okay. Behind here is a star piece, but I'm not entirely sure why King K wanted us to come out here. Back into the locker room. We're probably going to have to fight the bandits again because I didn't follow the rules. Uh, yep, the handed overs once again. And he's giving us the same thing. No jumping. Okay, I have coops out this time so we can make quick work of them. And I don't really feel the need to show this fight again since we already saw it, so I'll just cut away till when we finish it. And a little extra coinage can never hurt anybody as well. Got six coins, hooray. Stayed at 14. Uh, if you excuse me, I must be going. Uh, are we getting anything new from King K, or do we have to actually rank up first? I have to rank up to get a new chat with King K. He has standards. He's maybe a nice guy, but I still need to show him that I'm uh, pulling my own weight around here. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fixing up for a fight. Next one's going to be against number 13 the grid in the Glitz Pit, the Punk Rocks. Listen, in this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? It's just a darn boring when your match goes to so one-sided. You hear what I'm saying, do, do ya? I uh, kind of wish they had this prom for a different enemy because I think these guys are the Punk Rocks. They're going to be doing a lot of damage to us. So I will go ahead and heal up because I don't want to make the mistake of getting the game over. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Green Torture Squad. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Punk Rocks. Come on, Mario. Let's get this over with. This no take long. This end in pain for mustache. Get yourselves ready to battle! Now, I'm worried they might have 2 HP and nothing else, so... Oh, wait, we have to let them hurt us three times, so... Mario, I'm gonna let you defend, and then Goombella, you will go ahead and tattle on them. Uh, H Bald Clef. Oh, wait, the Hyper Bald Clefs, my god. I forgot they were Hyper. That's a Hyper Bald Clef. Like Clefs and Bald Clefs, this is also a Rock Monster. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 2. This Hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says that here that the item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. Uh, thank you for the extra defense. It's actually very much well needed right now. Uh, they do pretty good damage when they're not hyper, but still, after the hyper thing, it's even worse. And he's getting hyper. Uh, does that count as damage? Like, I let you do the damage, so I can never, like, guesstimate which one, what they mean by that, so... I'll defend again, and then I'll have Goombella. I'll switch to Flurry, actually, just because she has more HP. There's one. Uh, there's another charge attack. There's two. I'm very low on HP. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me just getting rid of some of them, right? So... Uh, we'll show off Flurry's new ability, Lip Lock. Suck away enemy HP and add it to Flurry's with a kiss. Okay, at least, at least we were able to take care of them, but not looking good in the HP department. Let's see if I can survive this. Uh, 8 HP to Flurry. Okay, 2 HP to damage to Flurry. Uh, that was 4 damage, right? So now we just need to not Gale Force, at least block again, I guess. God, this thing pierces through defense.
And, ooh, an FP restoration. That doesn't really matter because we could heal it in the bed. Uh, defend. Just hurt us one more time, please. Thank you. And then we should be good to go. I will switch to Mario and have this wrap up quickly with a power smash. And of course, they didn't actually finish them off. Cool. Beans. And we have to finish them off with a lick, lick lock, not lick lock. Ugh. Kind of a weird timing, but you can sort of get what I'm doing here, right? And there's the stylus for that. We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We received six coins, six golden coins. Mario's raking rose to 13. Now if you excuse me, I must be going. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig? After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, Double G-Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget the one you once knew the King K. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's gonna be leaving after this. He's such a cool guy. Why is this? Why is he always gotta leave? I don't want him to leave. I don't have any other friends here. The bandy and he smells kind of weird, and the rock guy doesn't like us. Uh, whatever. I guess all great of uh, friendships not no not all great friendships must come to an end they do not need to be like all great times i guess come to an end because uh, go go our separate ways but if only he became a party member you would be able to join us but no unfortunately he's not so we're gonna just go set up another match and it's gonna be against uh the mind bogglers uh now listen son this battle i want you to appeal to the crowd at least once okay no problem uh the mind bogglers actually remember this one i was like what enemy is that supposed to relate to it's actually kind of funny when we see it The Mind Bogglers are all enemies from Boggly Woods, get it? Uh, it's very funny. For next match battle, match battle, we get the Merciless Execution, Greg Gonzalez, and the Grey Entertain Entanglers, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers. Here we go, darling. Time to shine. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Sure, I guess. And how the Piter come up here when he's like in that position and stuff, sort of weird how he just like scurried up there when he's hanging onto a thread that doesn't exist. And it appears now appeals to the crowd at least once, so we'll just get that out of the way right now. Hi, it's -a me, Mario. And we'll have Flurry use the uh, we'll use lip lock again, just because it does 4 HP damage. So why not use it? We'll make out with a piranha plant. So metal, so stinking metal. And dodge that, okay. I'm sorry that I just really don't have that much to talk about. It's just that I don't like the battle aspect of this chapter. It goes on for way too stinking long. And the fact that this game introduces the Pit of 100 Trials, which has us fighting a million stinking enemies in a row. I just don't understand why they have so many stinking uh, battle segments and whatnot. Oh, uh, whatever. Some people like this chapter, so I guess I shouldn't be insulting it too much. It has King K after all, so it's not all terrible. Shine Sprite's sort of like a star. It's cooler from a better game. Yeah, burn on Mario 64. Uh, jump on that, and we are good. That was the winner, the Great Gonzalez. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received seven corns. Mario's ranking rose up to 12. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Oh, he's really here. He's gone now. It's unfortunate. No one to talk to anymore. Not like these guys are gonna bother talking to us. Oh, so sad and alone. So quiet and pointless. I'll just continue on with the matches like he, wanted, he would want us to. Uh, next opponent's gonna be 11, the Glitz with the ba bomb Squad. Now listen, son, this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least once again, okay? And we'll stick with Flurry still. The ba bomb Squad is probably these guys, so we get to fight all of our friends in the locker room at least. 
We'll just wrap this up and we'll be good to go. Uh, that guy in the crowd looked very glitchy for some reason. Uh, we got the Greg Gonzalez and Big ba bomb Bomber Boomers. Yep, uh, fight to the finish with the ba bomb Squad. Here we go, darling. Time to shine. Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have advice. Just give up now, ba bomb Get ourselves ready to battle. Yeah, it got old after a while. Uh, let's go ahead and got a bunch of x knots in the crowd for some reason. Okay, we're gonna go and use a Quake Hammer. I, that might actually not be a good idea now that I think about it. Yeah, sending them all off is not the greatest idea. So this might actually be a good idea for a Gale Force. And I just remembered that we haven't, we didn't tattle them. So, uh oh. Huh. Maybe I could just lose on purpose then. I just appealed. Why? What? What? That was the prompt, you fool. Oh god, they run super fast. And that's it. That's the end of the fight. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have to tattle them some other time, if we can. There's also a winner of the Great Gonzalez. Well, that was no fuss whatsoever. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Received seven corns, Mars ranking rose to 11. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. It is quite lonely without King K around, Bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. Not with him here. Uh, now him not here. Sound normal to Kleptor. You are in Bomb denial, Kleptor. I saw you weeping in that locker, ba Bomb. What a replacement! Right this way, Sir Swoop. Is this your dressing- This is your dressing room. Now, I don't know why they do this, but they have this new character come in and they give you the entire spiel of explaining how the sinking terminal works again. For this character, that doesn't even matter. I don't know why they do it like that. Uh, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about it then. Just a piece of cake. Just mop the floor with them, okay? You wanna get that crowd fired up? So do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask Jolene, okay? Good thing they don't ask us to do that. Otherwise, we'd be stuck here forever. Blah, 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 blah. We get it, we get it. I don't know why they give us all that stinking dialogue. That doesn't even matter, but whatever. Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet ya. You. Yes, you. Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. It's so boring around here without King K. I miss him. <laughs> Well, that got taken care of. I wasn't able to tattle on the bombs. I wonder if I could lose the match on purpose and then go rank down. Would that just make me have to rematch the next people again, or would I go against the bomb squad again? I guess we'll find out, because I'm going to fail on purpose. Uh, reserve a match. Uh, well, dogs my cats! If it ain't the Great Gonzalez, fix it for a fight, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you're going to love this. Your next opponent is... Ring 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers. Of course, it's the minor league bout, so I can't even lose the great. That's right, you're darn too, and you're finally gonna make a go at the major league, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go letting us down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Well, this is unfortunate, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and switch the belt. I wonder, can I get out of here real quick? I can't get out, god darn it. I wanted to save before this fight because reasons, but I didn't know it was happening right here and now. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'll just have to do this perfect on the first try, if you know what I'm referring to. Uh, wish me luck! And now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Gray Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The Gray Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their iron tails, don't you dare lose, dude. Whoa, look at that mustache. Ooh, the Gray Gonzalez, how you feeling? Okay, I guess just perfect, thanks. Burp. Gee, I wonder what I'm gonna choose. Ugh. 
Ooh, Nelly, you heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Oh, these guys look tough. Good gravy. I iron them out. Whoa, are spikes illegal? <laughs> yuck, yuck, your challenge is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron a donut, Swinzy said. More like paper dog face bros, and they stink. And then he said, I bet that they play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, and then he said, Out of belly buttons run in their family, stink wads. And so on. Yep, we didn't say any of that. What? How does he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Simmer down there, bro. You, stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening up your yap, pal. See these pods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to samba! That's not even samba, I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Here is the fight that will get us into the Major League against the Armored Harriers. We're gonna do it. We make the Major League if we win. Get psyched, Mario. <laughs> Give up now. Well, Stingwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. So, what exactly do we do against these things? We haven't seen an enemy like this before. An Iron Cleft. They are the same enemy despite having different sprites, so you only need to tattle one of them. That's an Iron Cleft. That guy is scary. Period. Max HP is 6. Attack is 4. And defense is... I know! And what's with this book? It says no attack will work against Iron Clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an Iron Cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. Oh, if that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away might not be a bad idea at this point. Oh, hey, looks like I get to run away after all, but come on, it can't be totally impossible, can it? I could use, like, a quake hammer to flip them up on, on their side or something like that. It didn't work. Interesting. Ouch, 4 HP damage and they go really slow. Not even a super guard does any damage. Uh, maybe the green one has the secret weakness because he's got the color of Luigi, so he would be more likely to slip up. Uh, I'm glad that guy's scary. has the same exact description. There is literally nothing we could do. Maybe an Earth Tremor or something like that? Uh, where the heck is my star power? SP? Earth Tremor, let's go! There's gotta be something we could do. Come on! Well, I messed up, but that should be big enough, right? Maybe, possibly? It still does nothing. Super Guard does nothing. Star Powers does nothing. We literally cannot win this fight no matter what. So I guess it's convenient that I wanted to lose, but not in this way. Uh, I guess we have no other option but to run away. First time doing that in a, in a battle. All you gotta do is just press A as fast as you can and hope you enter in the green zone. We got ourselves a winner, the Armored Harrier! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received one coin, hooray. Mario's ranking remains at 11. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Check it out! Our little eggy friend is gone! Oh, what a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo! Oh? Gonzalez! Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatch safe and sound. Thanks, man! Whoa! What? You were in that cute little eggy waggy? Whoa, that's wild! Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah, anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there. So I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. 
I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? We actually get to name this Yoshi whatever we want. So, the first time I ever played this game, I actually got a blue Yoshi. The Yoshi could be any different, a uh, wide variety of colors depending on how long it's in the egg. I'll flash up on screen uh, how long it needs to be in the egg from when you get it to uh, the point when you lose against the armored harriers. And that will determine what color it becomes. If you wait over 20 minutes, then the timer just resets back to the beginning and the cycle restarts again. I'm very glad that I got this on the first try. I had a little stopwatch with me just to make sure I had the right amount of time to get the blue one because if you watch my Pokemon LPs, you know that I like to keep things uh, in tradition of my original playthrough. So I wanted to make sure I got myself a blue Yoshi for this. And because this is my original Yoshi, I have to go with the original name for it. My original name for it I'm not even joking. Don't worry, it gets worse. Blue Spike. Because he's blue and he has spiky hair, but I can't fit Spike, so I shortened it to Blue Spike. I called him Blue Spike, because he's blue and has spiky hair, but I wrote it like that. I never thought to have it just be BLU, and then fill out Spike all normally and stuff. That would make sense, and it looks a lot better. But no, I went with Blue Spike, which is really unfortunate. So, I'm going to edit the name a little bit. I was thinking about letting you guys name it, but I'm recording this super far in advance, so I would have to spoil the LP for you if I were to do that. So, for that reason, I kind of have to come up with a name on my own, and I still want to keep with that uh, name that idea that I have, but just make it sound a bit less stupid. And honestly, having a, a Blue Yoshi named Blue, it doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world. So, how about we just name him Blue, after a good old friend from a long time ago. And I think that dinosaurs named Blue are all the rage these days or something like that. But more importantly, it's after a very special pup who helped us out way back in the day. Some people may think it would be better to spell it B-L-O-O -O after Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, who is also another very cool Blue character. But anytime I would look at it, I would just think of that one DeviantArt fan art picture I saw once of Blue from Foster's hanging out with Vivan from Paper Mario. And yes, that's actually something that I've seen before. And now you're all going to go ahead and try and look it up. Uh, tell him your good old Mil Midnight said hi. Actually, no, don't tell him I sent you. But yeah, that is something that I've seen and I have been scarred for life because of it. So we're just going to go with B-L-U-E and call it a day. Um, that's not a space, is it? Is anyone okay, Blue? I'm kind of paranoid now. So I want to make absolutely sure because I don't want to end up having like a big space there or something. And the doorbell ring. Cool gonna be a good time to end this episode off i suppose b l u okay door's knocking i'll be right back i answered the door and there weren't even thin mints waiting for me i'm just gonna name him blue because it's basically what my original name was but a lot cooler and a lot less stupid sounding <sighs> blue huh not too bad dude not too bad at all yeah i like it okay gonzalez let's get out there and do some damage the Yoshi is now your friend! He'll answer to Blue! <laughs> and now I'm gonna go back to calling him Yoshi. Yoshi's ability, A Primer. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. Cool. <laughs> While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster, even though you're like twice his size. So this is sort of the replacement of the Spin Dash. You can now just ride your slave, baby. Also, while on the Yoshi, you can, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. So he's a mixture of Spin Dash and Paracarry. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his Ground Pound move, or... You can use the Gulp to inhale enemies as a whole and spit them out for massive damage. And it looks like he was flipping people off right there. So, we've got ourselves a new party member, a Yoshi of our own... Merit, I guess we can name him whatever we want. He ends up a wide variety of colors. I guess the baby Yoshi aspect is a very lovable part of this chapter, I guess. Though I still would prefer King K. 
But I'll stop mourning over him and I'll just end the episode off here. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're going to go ahead and try and rematch the Armored Harriers and make our way to the Major League. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.